Hello and welcome to the second stop on our famous Taverns of Stormwind tour, the wonderful Blue Recluse. We have some fantastic updates for this part of the evening. First up, we'll go over the year of the Griffin so far, then something brand new is coming to the battlegrounds in the form of cosmetics. It's pretty exciting, so stay tuned for that. And finally, we turn up the heat with the Fire Festival starting next week. Phase one of the Year of the Griffin has been one of Hearthstone's biggest shakeups to date. We introduced the core set, classic format, and the Forge and the Barons expansion, celebrating Hearthstone's origins while stepping forth into new lands and all new challenges. We're releasing more content than ever before, and the team could not be happier with the response from all of you. Thank you for this amazing start to the Year of the Griffin. We can't wait to show you what's next. First, Battlegrounds. In 21.2, we're going to be doing a giant mini pool shakeup, the largest since Battlegrounds launch. With nearly 25 new minions, we wanted to reimagine the configurations and synergies of different minion types and offer new strategical paths to victory for each. Here's an early example of what to expect. For pirates, we're going to lean heavily into their role as a minion type that cares about gold and acquiring loot. New minions like Nosy Looter and Briny Bootlegger lets you feel like a pirate during your Battlegrounds run amassing your own stash of treasure. Our other minion types will see similar additions. We're incredibly excited to freshen up Battlegrounds gameplay with these changes, and we'll have more information about that update and additional heroes soon. That's not all though. Phase two has more in store for Battlegrounds. Alongside our main content releases, we have been exploring cosmetic options for Battlegrounds players. We've landed on two new options that we're excited to share with you today. First, we're introducing Battlegrounds exclusive hero skins. Very soon, you'll be able to suit up as the likes of Pyro Spike Millhouse or even Chained Kelthos. And second, it's not just the heroes who are getting facelifts. We are also introducing the option to sub out Bartender Bob for a hot new bartender in town. Ragnaros, the Tiki Lord. Because who doesn't love a delicious cocktail, right? I'm the only Tiki Torch you need. Expect to see dozens of hero skins and other ways to customize your Battlegrounds play throughout the year. And finally, don't forget, this year's Fire Festival starts next week. Ragnaros will be dishing out some pack rewards for completing quests in the Fire Festival quest chain. Our old buddy Malfurion will get a brand new skin, and we have some updated Tavern Brawl content. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we hope you can join us in the Firelands. Okay, that's enough from me. The next stop on this tavern tour is the Shady Lady, where they have some special information to show you. After the show, you'll get a free ticket to the Golden Keg, my good friends, Liv and John, will see you there. Greetings, citizens. Welcome to Stormwind. Need help? What can I do for you? Well, Things on light light for the Alliance. My friends, you look tired and hungry. How about some Stormwind Bree? From boots to blouse, the auction house will have just what you need. And if your portions are leaking, then how about the spell of free? There's no excuse, the Blue Recluse will give you your drinks for free. Oh, just what? Oh, Stormwind! Stormwind, spells and chills galore. When you think you've seen it all, you're sure to see something more. Stormwind! Stormwind, Stormwind. Don't be afraid of the shadows, the youthful king is fine. Troubled mind. Oh, storm wind, storm wind, heroes hold the prize. Adventure calls us in the final show. Our alliance pride. Storm wind, we bow as heroes before us, and we fight until the last
welcome to the last stop on the tavern tour, the famous Golden Keg. In case you hadn't guessed it, this expansion takes place right here in Stormwind, the heart of the Alliance and a bustling port city filled with characters from all over Azeroth. Yeah, and you can find anything in Stormwind from their various shops, markets, and auction houses. And we wanted to lean in on this when creating the mechanics for this expansion. Now Liv, I'm a bit of a bargain hunter, and if you want to make it in Stormwind, you have to be able to lock down sweet deals. Take a look at our first example, Pandaren and Porter. Battlecry, discover a spell that didn't start in your deck. She's great at acquiring that spell that maybe you forgot to bring with you to the city. And there are plenty of other helpful vendors and merchants to meet. Oh, that smells amazing. What is that? Oh, that's the delivery from the spice bread baker down the street. They bake the best stuff. Fresh out of the oven. <laughs> Battlecry, restore health to your hero equal to your hand size. Always great at filling you right back up when you're a little down. I'll put it on your tab. Well, obviously, I need to pick up some of those baked goods right now, but I am all out of gold. Well, you might be able to trade for them. A lot of merchants around here love a good trade, almost as much as I do. Well, I did pick up this heavy plate back in Stranglethorn Vale. After the run-in with the tiger, I thought I could use some more armor. Lucky for you, it's one of our new tradable cards. Tradable cards can be dragged back into your deck, and for one mana, you draw a new card. In this case, you can gain armor now or trade it in for something else. Oh, before your next adventure, be sure to check out Duncan's Textiles. I hear he's having a massive fire sale. Oh yeah, that's a hot deal. It deals three damage to all minions, and it's tradable. And of course, if you're looking for something a little more exotic, start with this next card, Rustrot Viper. It's a tradable beast that also destroys your opponent's weapon. With Acid Venom like that, I'm gonna have to keep it away from my armor for sure. Uh, excuse me, we were waiting on some funnel cake. Hey, up oh. and get out. That was rude. Yeah, he's that impatient shopkeeper, the one down by the docks. Oh, he's got rush and tradable. No wonder he's impatient. What I love about tradable cards is the extra options they give you. If it's not the right situation for a card right now, trade it away for something better in the moment. The best thing about Stormwind is all the cool skills you can learn. But learning a new skill means you need some new tools as well. Exactly. I recently picked up two new hobbies, enchanting and jewel crafting. And that's where profession tools come in. I couldn't find anyone to enchant my gear, so I decided to do it myself with this nice runed mithril rod. After drawing four cards, it reduces the cost of cards in your hand by one. That's very handy, especially if you're a warlock. Okay, well, enchanting is cool, but bedazzling your gear with jewel crafting is even better. Check out my prismatic jewel kit. Whenever one of my minions loses Divine Shield, not only does it save them, but it also buffs up the minions in my hand. Profession tools are great tools for a true strategic thinker, but they take some work. You have to pick the right time to play it and collect the right reagents. Sometimes that's as easy as drawing cards, but it also allows for designs that can be more situational. You know what professions I always wanted to pick up? Carpentry and masonry. I could learn from the greats, the foundation of the Alliance, who are always ready for more work. Like the peasant. Right, Joe. He draws a card at the start of your turn. Those peasants really are the hardest workers out there. You know who also works really hard and never gets any recognition? The one who puts in the long hours and whose style is unmatched? No, who? The mailbox dancer, of course. Looks like his battle cry gives you a coin, but careful, his death rattle gives your opponent one as well. He's definitely working those moves. You'd be working that hard too if you had to get a new mount. Good ones are not cheap to come by. Eventually, all things come through Stormwind, so it's no surprise that our mercenary friends have found their way here as well. Yeah, when we last left off, our mage, Barden Dongrasp, was captured by the Alliance and thrown into the infamous stockades. Spoilers. <laughs> to tell the story of our mercenaries united in Stormwind, we're introducing quest lines. Like quests, they start in your opening hand. However, there are three steps to complete them. There are quest lines all over Stormwind, and each one is unique to your class. For instance, if you want to help Dawn Grasp escape and see that story unfold, 
you'll need to follow the mage questline, Sorcerer's Gambit. For this questline, you need to cast a Fire, Frost, and Arcane spell to advance to the next step. After each step, you get a small reward. Finish them all and you'll see Dawngrass break out of the stockades and make their way to the portal room to escape Stormwind. The final reward for completing the questline is your class's leveled up mercenary. In this case, Arcanist Dawngrasp is added to your hand, and when you play them, you get a massive plus three spell damage for the rest of the game. And I'm sure you're wondering, what about the other classes? We know that our warlock Tamsin began our journey looking for the demon seed in the bairns. What devious plot does she have in store for us now that she has it? Well, the demon seed requires a lot of power, so she'll have to use herself as a conduit to open a demonic portal. To do this, each step you have to deal damage to your own hero. Once you complete the ritual, the portal becomes self-sustaining and it can sap power from your opponent instead. Playing the final reward of Lightborn Tamsin transfers all damage done to your hero on your turn to your opponent for the rest of the game. Well, Tamsin hates Stormwind, but she'll love this expansion because she's bringing a demonic invasion with her to burn her former home to the ground. Oh my goodness, what is that? I thought I'd seen everything in Stormwind, but I've never seen an Elec rampaging down the streets. Yeah, that Elec is pretty impressive. It gives a minion a huge buff and taunt. The great thing about mounts is that after the rider gets knocked off, the mount pops out with the same stats and abilities as the buff. Uh. <laughs> Looks like Tavish is on his ramming mount. It makes him immune while mounted, which can be quite a problem for your opponent. Even after the city guards handle that rider, they still have the mount to deal with. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be in their shoes right now. So I guess this whole paladin thing is going pretty well for you then, Liv. Well, yeah, I mean, being evil is pretty great, but it's pretty hard to beat the perks of being a paladin, you know? <laughs> oh, well, I had a surprise for you, but if you've turned over a new leaf, I don't know. You wouldn't want to meet him. John? Fine. Dark Bishop Benedictus! Throne in shadow! He's a legendary priest minion, and if all the spells in your deck are shadow spells, then you start in shadow form. Wait, so you get to deal two damage right away? Yeah, and I mean, when evil looks this good, kind of makes you reconsider that whole shiny paladin armor thing, right? Thanks for covering this, by the way. I thought you were getting this. I traded you everything I have. I have no gold. Uh, well, if we don't want to end up in the stockades, we should hit up the Flightmaster and get out of here. Flightmaster Dungar is an old friend who doesn't ask too many questions. <laughs> oh yeah, Dungar is the best. He lets you pick a flight path, and depending on how long your flight is, the bigger the effect. So if you take a trip to Westfall, you can pick up a 2-2 adventure while going through the dead mines. Last time I took a trip over to Ironforge, the Stonefire Tavern serves the best drinks. Oh, and we should hit up the Plague Lands. If you wait five turns and complete the flight path, it deals damage split among all enemies. We want everyone to make their way to Stormwind, and the best way to get there is by Griffin. Any players that log in today will get Flightmaster Dungar for free was Dungar's idea. Loves making new friends and hearing their stories. For those joining us, there is so much to discover in Stormwind. We have plenty more to show off in the upcoming weeks. And remember, pre-purchase starts today, so don't miss out. Thanks for joining us on the Tavern Tour of Stormwind. Can't wait to go head-to-head -head with you in a bidding war at the auction house. Cheers! Cheers.